Okay, so I want to I want to talk about uh, blowing up of um, of a surface in this whole negative self intersection thing. So, um, so uh, negative self intersections. Self. Uh, of curves on surfaces of curves on surfaces so this is going to be some examples um, so okay so the idea is is that uh, we'll, we'll take um, so maybe we'll, we'll, we'll have some type of uh, so let me just draw the picture okay so we have some cone here and what we can do is, um, so this is x, okay, and we have some point here, p. This is a singular point of this, this variety, so this is a, maybe the cone of a, of a, a degree 2 equation in A3. And, uh, and then, so this has some lines going through it here, so it has some lines. And so what we can do is we can blow up this point, okay, and we blow up this point, and what ends up happening is that this whole thing becomes a section here of uh, this, so this becomes E, and then these lines uh, become uh, these 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 lines here. Okay, so this is uh, C, and then this thing is here C tilde. This becomes this kind of strict transform, and it meets this guy here. Um, okay, and so this is uh, X prime, and this is the blow up of um, of X at P, and this is pi. So this is this blow up. Okay, and so I want to show, what I want to show you is that in this situation, uh, so the, 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 the theorem that I want to show is that in the above situation, um, uh, x squared, or sorry, e squared, the self-intersection of e is, is minus 1. Okay. So, um, so let me, this is, this is what I want to show. So that these, the, the, you can actually have things with self intersection minus one. And so this is just due to the intersection number. So it's not like you shouldn't like try and like twist it and try and like move this E around so that, that, um, this happens. It actually, um, uh, you, it, it come, it's a consequence of algebra. So this is a consequence of algebra. So the idea is this is a consequence of algebra. Okay. Um, okay, so let me just state, let me state this uh, uh, lemma again, uh, or the theorem that I want to state in full, and then it'll imply the one that I have before. So. Here's the theorem. Uh, so we have pi from x to x prime uh, blow up at a point, a point, uh, and then x and x prime are, are surfaces. And so when you blow up a surface, it'll re so this is irreducible, it'll remain irreducible. Um, although sometimes the drawing doesn't, in there's a drawing that people do, and they want to show, I guess, that this is maybe a fixed point here, and so sometimes people draw it like this, x, x prime, like so, let's see if this is on, okay, so they have this, this other drawing that they do, sometimes it looks like this, um, and so this is E, so this is sometimes this, anyway, um, so what, what I want to say is that, uh, uh, so if we take two divisors, uh, D1 and D2, uh, so these are like curves on, on, uh, on X, okay, um, what we can do, and then E is going to be the exceptional divisor, so E is the exceptional divisor. Uh, divisor of pi. And so this is going to be the inverse image of the point that we're blowing up. Okay, so this is the point we blow up. Okay. Um, uh, we, we have some properties that we have. So the, the properties that I want to show are, well, the first thing I want to show is that um, the intersection number is preserved by the pullback. So it says that D1 times D2, so we have this intersection number. Uh, maybe I put parentheses around this, but I'm just going to omit the parentheses. 
Okay, this is equal to the same thing. So this is the ring homomorphism preserves, so the pullback of the chow ring, so we, we've talked about chow rings, um, preserves this. And the second thing that I want to talk about is that, um, uh, so the, the inverse image of, uh, of any divisor, so D1, uh, dotted with E is going to be equal to zero. And then the third thing that I wanted to show is that uh, E squared is equal to minus one. Okay, so this happens for blowups. Um, this is important, and it'll actually turn out that the converse of this is true, right? It says that um, uh, if, if you have uh, such a, a curve, which where E squared is minus one, um, then you're, it actually will come from a blow up. Okay, uh, but first let's let's just go um, uh, let's let's uh, talk about these these statements. All right, so the first statement is not not bad. So uh, the first statement. So let's look at statement one. So claim one. Uh, so the first part. So here's the proof. Okay, so the first part just follows from the moving lemma. Uh, the first part from the baby moving lemma. Baby moving lemma. Okay, so the baby moving lemma said that uh, if you have two divisors, right, then you can... Um, uh, move the divisors right away from a particular point and in this instance we're going to move away from the exceptional divisor or sorry from the point which we're blowing up and in that case these things don't change um, so let, let me let me just maybe I can I can draw the picture uh, so um, so yeah so let's say let's say we have this this picture again where we have this guy and then we blew it up, right? We blew it up and we got uh, this guy here. And so what we'll do is, um, is, is so we, we have two guys uh, and, and the idea is, is that we only need to worry about, so like here's D1 and here's D2. And then uh, here they're intersecting. And then when we do it over, over on this, when we, after we blow it up, uh, we're just going to have something, it's going to be like the exact same. So D1, uh, D2 here. And they're, they're exactly the same. So nothing happens. So outside of this point, you're going to get an isomorphism. Okay. And so the intersection numbers are going to be preserved. Okay. So, so that being said, uh, let me, let me say that, uh, uh, uh what, what, what else we have? Uh, so, so, the consequence of the same, same thing says, uh, the other claim that I made was that uh, this thing uh, dotted with E was going to be e zero. So the intersection number of these two things are, are zero. And so the idea here is that we move uh, uh, D1 away from the point. Uh, from the point. Okay, so maybe you can think of this thing here, this divisor uh, here as maybe an intersection with a hyperplane. Maybe it goes through here, but then we'll, we'll move it a little bit so that it doesn't. Um, so, so it's the same type of moving argument. Uh, the last part is a computation. So the negative self-intersection number, uh, the negative self-intersection, so this is the last part, uh, uh, self-intersection, uh, comes from a computation. Uh, comes from... A computation and this isn't bad either uh, the computation is is uh, the following uh, we just take the the strict transform and we intersect it with uh, e so so here's what we do we'll, we'll take um, uh, so uh, here uh, so so pi star uh, of, of C of, so any any curve uh, what do we say d1 Okay, so this is going to be D1 tilde plus E. So, so the inverse image of, of D1 is going to be two pieces. And so this is the strict transform. So this is kind of the closure, and then this is going to be E. Okay, so um, 
Now what we can do is we can actually just write out what it means for this to intersect um, pi uh, star of d1 dotted with e. Okay, so this is going to be equal to, um, well, okay, so, so one of the things that we need to say is that uh, 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 the, the, the strict transform, let me say this, another thing that we need to say is that the strict transform, uh, d1 tilde dotted with um, uh, e is going to be equal to uh, 1. So this is something else that we need. And you need to see that the, the uh, closure here of this guy uh, is going to be, uh, is going to have some intersection with this, this thing. And so let me, maybe I can draw that part. Let me, let me go back to here. Uh, I'll, I'll do this computation in a second. I'll come back to that. Uh, I want to show, what I want to show right now is I want to talk about this. Okay. And so the idea is, is that, um, Okay, so we so let me draw the picture so that this is believable. Is that uh, uh, here? So we're, I'm going to draw the same picture again. Okay. Okay, so we have this guy, and we have some curve. And it passes through here. Okay, and so we saw that uh, in the original picture, I drew a bunch of lines, and then when we blow up this point, it becomes this exceptional divisor, and then. Um, here, the, the tangent direction of the curve through this point, uh, well, this gets, you know, you replace um, essentially the, the point here by all the tangent directions. So that's what the blow up does. So the blow up, uh, blow up uh, replaces um, uh, the point with uh, all of its tangent directions, all the tangent directions. Uh, out, uh, at the point. Okay, so here this line then becomes, okay, so if we remove this part, it's an isomorphism, so blow-ups are isomorphisms outside this point, and uh, this becomes something like this line here. I don't know, we'll start here, and then we'll go across, and then, and then something happens here, and we don't know, but outside of this, when we remove this, and we remove this point, these two pieces are isomorphic. Okay, and so what ends up happening is that uh, well, when we we'll, we'll, we'll close that up, when we close that up, when we take the closure of the complement, that's what's called the strict transform when we get this line. So if this is C, this is C tilde. Uh, and actually the inverse image of the whole thing in here, so this is pi, well the inverse image of the point is going to be that whole uh, uh, of, of sorry this is uh, this is the blow up it goes this way so the inverse image of the, the this this uh, thing here of this point is this line and this and this is this is the strict transform okay so this is this we remind we remind ourselves that this is the strict transform and um, uh, okay and so now you can kind of see from the picture that uh, from so from the picture so uh, you can kind of see that uh, C tilde dotted with E is going to be equal to 1. Okay, uh, let's take this for granted, okay? And now, um, now we can go forward with the computation, okay? The computation that I wanted to do. Uh, the computation says that uh, here, now we're going to do this. Uh, so what do we do? Well, this is equal to uh, D1 tilde, the strict transform plus the exceptional divisor, because that's how pullbacks work. Uh, when you have a blow up, uh, plus e times E. Okay, and so this is uh, D1. Okay, okay, so by the, the theorem that we had, so the, the first part, this follows from the first part of the proposition. And now I'm going to flash this up, uh, uh, proposition, or earlier part. Um, so the earlier part said this, or the second part. So, okay, this is, this is what I mean. It's, it's this part here. Okay, and uh, so so this is zero. Okay, we know that this is this distributes here, uh, and then here we have e squared. So this is e dotted with e. This one's equal to one uh, plus e squared, and then we solve the equation, and this tells us that e squared is equal to minus one, and and that proves the the proposition. Okay, uh, 
that being said, I'm going to bring this video to a close. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, all right. Bye.